Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video I have my monthly check-in so in this video it's basically a way for me to track my weight loss. I don't measure, I don't weigh myself in these videos, I don't like to let the scales determine my worth or my mood and I don't feel like the scales really gives a true depiction of what is going on. So I do progress pictures, measurements and a goal try on clothing section where I basically try on a pair of clothes that don't fit and we see whether we can progress into fitting in them. So that is sort of the structure for the video and then at the end of the video I'll set some goals for the next month. As for the last month that's just been, I mentioned in my previous video that I've been having quite a rough month this month. I've had a family member in hospital, I've had my period that was causing havoc and basically any sort of stress or when I'm upset and things like that, I am an emotional eater so things haven't been on track this month and I'm just going to write off last month um, and just move on with it. Whatever happens in today's video, measurements wise or progress pictures wise, I'm just going to take it on the chin and move on. Um, these things happen, you always have sort of bumps in the road, so yeah, this is my bump in the road as such. I have been on track the last week, so hopefully I can continue that into this month, uh, but we'll just see where we're at for now. So I'll do progress pictures first, measurements and goal try on, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so according to measurements this month, they stayed exactly the same again, which is expected given the month that I've had this month. So yeah, uh, not really disappointed because I know that I've had a tough month this month. Uh, it's just going to be about getting back into it in this next month. So yeah. So we'll start with the summer trousers first and see how we get on with those. As per uh, progress pictures and measurements, I don't think these are going to be anywhere near being able to fit, but obviously we try them on for the sake of it. That is where I'm getting them at the moment, which is roughly about the same as last time, so no progress there. Then we've got the skinny jeans next. That's where I'm getting skinny jeans without obviously busting another zip or anything. So that's where we're at with those. I'm not disappointed. I know what I have to do next month. So we'll just have to get on with it. Okay, so all things aside, based on the last month, I am quite pleased or happy that my measurements have been maintained this month and not gone up. At least that's something. If it had gone up then I've got more work to do but obviously I've got work to do anyway to try and get measurements down at some point this month because this whole like last couple of months I haven't really made much progress at all so yeah it's time to get my butt into gear. So 
yeah, my part and my dad's partner is out of hospital now, so I don't have that sort of stress there. Obviously, my period is now gone, so I don't have that either. Uh, so hopefully, there won't be any uh, times where I emotionally eat or stress eat this month. Fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly, and I can sort of make some progress this month. So in terms of goals this month, I want to definitely knuckle down on nutrition. I've downloaded a new app uh, for calorie tracking. I previously used MyFitnessPal, which was fine, um, but sometimes it was hard to find certain foods and I've downloaded the NutriCheck Nutri app. Uh, it came highly recommended from some of the weight loss groups that I'm part of and it has like a UK database, so it's centered around the UK. So it's easier to find foods, easier with like serving sizes and things like that, all sort of marked out and already filled in. So yeah, I have been using that for the last week or so. Well, I've had it for more than a week, but I've really actually been tracking this last week. So that's been going well and I've been trying to stay under my calorie range as much as I can or at least at my calorie range, not over. Some days I have been over, but um, yeah, hopefully I can be consistent and stick to my calorie range. So that is what I wanna focus on this month. Obviously I am getting back into running again after having a few blips last month. So that's going well so far. I've ran twice this week already, so I seem to be getting back on track. Hopefully I can continue that as well. I am back in the gym as well, so yeah, exercise should be there again and it'll just be a case of really making sure that my nutrition is on point. I also have a challenge, a monthly challenge coming up on, I think it's the 14th, the 12th or the 14th of April for Tone and Sculpt. So that'll be like a 10 to 15 minute daily challenges to do as part of that. So any sort of extra exercise will be good. The only other things that I want to improve on is my water, which I have been doing. I have been trying to have a good bash at getting the gallon of water a day. I'm not quite there, but it's still a heck of a lot more water than I have been drinking. I drink maybe one or two cups a day at the moment. I have been doing that for the past week. Um, I'm definitely feeling the like, effects of like better energy. Uh, which sounds counterintuitive because I'm not having as much tea. I was having like six plus cups of tea a day. I'm now just having one or two, uh, which is in the morning and in the evening. Otherwise, I just drink water with cordial and that seems to be going really well. Hopefully, I can hit that gallon mark at some point, but it is very tough to drink that amount of water and I feel like I'm peeing all the time. So, yeah, as long as I'm drinking more water than I was, I'm happy with that. The other goal that I decided to set myself was uh, because a lot of the other weight loss YouTubers that I'm watching at the moment have been doing, um, or some of them have been doing this, uh, so I decided to take it on board as well. So for the month of April I want to try and make sure that I get 10k steps a day. That's going to be very difficult for me because sometimes I don't actually get out for a walk, um, but I need to make more of a conscious effort to sort of get away from my work desk so that I'm not just constantly working all the time and go out and get some fresh air so we will see how that goes this month I'll keep track of it and I'll let everyone know how that goes over the next month so they're sort of the, go the goals that I want to do for this month with all of those in mind I should make some progress this month so we'll see how that goes fingers crossed but otherwise I don't really have much else to touch on for this video so I'm gonna leave it there don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel to see more updates and you can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live other than that I hope you're all staying safe and well I hope you all have a good week weekend whenever it is that you're watching this and I will see you again in my next video bye